happy then what is up welcome back to lumos today we're going to talk about the upcoming features for wizards unite and as it happens niantic earlier today they just announced harry potter wizards unites first community day they based it on the pokemon go community day and it's going to be fun now if you do not know what community day is this is what's going to happen so in pokemon go you get a featured pokemon and then you get an exclusive move you get like three hours worth of lures and you also get a possible shiny variant of that featured pokemon so how would that translate to wizards unite well we could have three hour dark detectors we could have a special rare foundable maybe like harry potter since he is in the title and he's like the mascot of wizards unite i mean in pokemon go's first community day they used pikachu with with surf surf is like a uh, a move you can only get it on community day so we could probably get something like that we can get like harry potter as a featured foundable you get like three hours of dark detectors and in pokemon go you can also get like special bonuses like times two xp times two stardust and that can translate well to wizards unite where you can get double xp you can get double scrolls maybe even double family xp i don't know we've never had a community day before and uh, I'm pretty excited about this community day. Unfortunately, Niantic only provided a date for this community day. They didn't say what time it would happen, what rewards that we would get. All we got was a date and that is on July 20. It is a day before Pokemon Go's community day. It's going to be fun. There's going to be lots of people and I hope I meet a lot of people because that's what this day, this community day is for. For you to meet up with the community, you would play together and you would return these rare foundables together. Could we also get a bunch of brilliant foundables for this community day? I don't know how would that happen but we'll see I guess. Speaking of brilliant foundables, the brilliant event 2 and brilliant event 3 is found in the game. So for the brilliant event 2, you can find these images it features a bunch of new brilliant foundables featuring new scamander a brilliant dragon and a bunch of other magical creatures and for the brilliant event 3 it has also been found in the game's code about a brilliant albus dumbledore brilliant gryffindor student brilliant hufflepuff student brilliant ravenclaw student and brilliant slytherin student now we didn't find any images for these brilliance but they are coming and they are planned it's just a matter of when would niantic release these brilliance it's actually quite brilliant next up is we have the wizards unite fan fest for me this is not like wizards unite go fest it's probably more akin to like a safari zone so it's like a big event where they where a bunch of featured pokemon would show up i think the same thing would happen with wizards unite where a rare foundable would show up and a uh, lot of people would be there there would be special activities special places where you can do tons of stuff i don't know what would happen here but it's coming in indiana so if you're near the location yeah you might want to sign up for that because unfortunately for me i'm in the philippines i don't have visa yet to the us so i can't go yet maybe maybe next year so i'm just going to insert this in because i forgot to talk about it but we could also get an update for wizards unite this week or next week it could happen because it has been two weeks since the game's launch we hadn't had an update since then and I think we're due for an update because apparently Wizards Unite it has a lot of bugs and a lot of people they want it fixed immediately so look out 
for that. Now that we're done with the events of Wizards Unite, there's also a ton of features that's upcoming in Wizards Unite. So let's go through them. I've talked about these features in other videos, but I'm gonna try to reiterate them. And I'm also going to talk about some new stuff. Next up, we have new core key locations. We have Boathouse, Honey Jukes, and Spinner's End Street. It's not in the game yet, but yeah, this is what's coming next to Wizards Unite. We also get a bunch of new potions in Wizards Unite. There's lots of evidences of Felix Thalysis, also a bunch of other ones that I can't recognize, and we also don't know what these potions do. So it's all up to speculation. And the two big features that's supposedly coming to Wizards Unite, both of these features, they're from Pokemon Go and Ingress. So first up, we have adversaries. I already talked about this in another video. I link it somewhere there. But basically, it's a raid system in Wizards Unite. In case you don't know anything about the raid system in Pokemon Go, I'll show you. So this is Pokemon Go Raids. An egg would appear on top of a gym. Think of it as like Harry Potter Wizards Unite's fortress. And then a timer would appear on that egg. And when that egg hatches, a lot of people will be there. And we're supposed to take down this legendary Pokemon together. This is arguably one of Pokemon Go's best features and they're going to put it in Wizards Unite. As you can see, there are now people here, 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 here. Yeah, those are probably Pokemon Go players waiting for this egg to hatch. Three, two, one, and the egg would hatch and a big, powerful, legendary Pokemon would appear. Like this one, it's an armored Mewtwo. Okay, so I'm now inside and yeah, we're just waiting to battle this Pokemon. This is where they got the idea for wizarding challenges, but with Wizards Unite, it's actually much better. With wizarding challenges, they, they improved on a lot of stuff. Alright, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and then the battle commences. But this is actually the boring part because all you have to do is to just keep tapping, tapping, tapping. There's no depth to it. All you have to do is to just tap until you win. You can do it while not doing anything. You can do something else if you just keep tapping. And there we go. We're done. As you can see, I was just talking to Isma. I wasn't paying attention or anything. Yeah, this is why Pokemon Go Raids don't do it for me anymore. So you win, you win a bunch of rewards, and you get a chance to catch this Pokemon. So now, just imagine this system in Wizards Unite. Maybe you get to battle Lord Voldemort, the uh, Slytherin's Basilisk, maybe Dolores Umbridge. I cannot wait for that person. It's going to be fun. I'm really excited on what they would do because they have this profession system in place. I keep wondering how they would implement that in a raid system. Yes, and there we go. We caught the armored Mewtwo. And that's basically the raid system in Pokemon Go. Now, imagine that with Wizards Unite. So yeah, that is basically what the raid system in Pokemon Go is. It's pretty fun, but also a bit mundane. And with a little bit of Harry Potter Wizards Unite magic, it's going to be very awesome. And lastly, we have this, probably one of the biggest features that Wizards Unite could have, and it's called the Flu Network. So the Flu Network, it's based on Ingress's gameplay. Let me just show you what happens in Ingress. This is Niantic's first game, and I'm gonna try as much as possible to explain this game to you because it actually took me a while to get what this game actually does so all you have to do is to capture these portals these are like the points of interest in ingress after capturing it you have to link it with other portals you do that so that you capture that region and then when you capture that region you get more points 
and the more points you get the more your team wins so right now as you can see in this info page right here the team resistance is winning by 5.6 million and uh, my team enlightened yeah they're behind by 2 million so just imagine this kind of system in wizards unite so according to the code you can align with team harry team hermione or team ron and compete in global events you have to select your flu network team again team harry hermione or ron you can add flu powder to fortresses to take ownership for your team the team with the most and best fortresses wins the region who will you decide to help this is actual in-game description in-game language so it sounds very legit in fortresses you can see an owned by and then you can see the team name so there's already lots of code about the flu powder network in wizards unite it's just a matter of when niantic would activate these features so yeah i'm really excited about both of these big features now when could they be announced when could they be released and i'm thinking maybe they would announce one of these big new features in the wizards unite fan fest just like when the pokemon go raid system was announced at go fest so they could probably do the same thing so let's just wait for the wizards unite fan fest to arrive and then maybe we would see this new features implemented but yeah that is it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i informed you and i hope i see you on the next video bye bye